Hi friend, welcome back to Network Club Room channel. To pick up today, I would like to show a configuration step of redirect DNS in service side Cisco SD1. Cisco SD1 provides this feature from iOS XE version 17.8.1a and Manager 20.8.1 allow Catalyst SD1 device to respond DNS query using specified configuration and associated hot table cache that are selected based on certain characteristics of the query. Cisco recommends two use case for applying redirect DNS feature. Uh, use case one is unconditional redirect DNS. In this case, a host send on the DNS request to local edge router and a local edge router redirect the DNS request to an enterprise DNS server. Use case 2 is condition redirect DNS. Uh, in this case, a host use a service provider uh, DNS by default and only DNS request of a now application or custom application is forwarded to the enterprise DNS server using overlay network and uh, the author DNS request are sent to a service provider DNS server and uh, I will use uh, use case 2 in my lab today about configuration uh, redirect DNS feature uh, use centralized data WC and need two steps to config uh, step 1 I need to create data WC define the match condition uh, assemble the DNS application list or DNS request or response uh, then define the action in my case I will uh, define the IP Array of DNS and step two. Uh, if I had the global centralized policy already, uh, so I just import the data policy and then uh, exit global policy to VisMark. If I don't have the global policy, I need to create a new one and then import the data policy. Okay, uh, let me talk about my scenario. I'm using the diagram which one I use in almost previous video. In my lab, uh, now the internal user uh, at VBN10 is using DNS IP of DC DNS server at DC. And I want to apply the redirect DNS feature at site 101. My assumption uh, if user 111 uh, want to uh, access youtube.com or YouTube, doc, uh, YouTube application. The DNS request of user uh, will be forwarded to DR DNS server instead of DC DNS server. Also, I will use the WhatsApp to capture the DNS packet to determine uh, DNS forwarding flow. Before I uh, go to uh, manager and config policy, let me show you the IP of user 111 and user of two server uh, DNS server. Let me open the user 111 and this is DNS IB and this IB of user this is uh, IB of DC uh, DNA, D, DNS server let me open 20.1 20.1 ok and zip e uh, dia dns server 10.10.105.10 ok now let me uh, try being some domain um, at user 111 and open the white stack in to dns server to check the dns um, request let me open the why suck? Okay. And let me stop again. Let's start again. I continue with our seven. And continue with our seven. I will ping youtube.com. And my expectation DNS request for youtube.com domain will send to a DC DNS server. Because now user 111 use IP by default 
and dr dns server uh, will not receive anything okay you see uh, dc dns server receive dns request from uh, user 111 and because it uh, don't have record for youtube.com so it sent to uh, dns public google dns and uh, then google dns result and send ip to dc dns server then it answer uh, the ip to the user 111 this one 25.14 25.14 okay and uh, dr dns server did not receive any dns request for uh, youtube.com let me bin uh, one domain um, bbc.com okay dc dns server also received a dns request for bbc.com 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 and ask the good goal dns uh, and answer to user 111 okay let me uh, go to cisco catalyst ad1 manager and configure policy now I need to go to uh, configuration uh, policy uh, custom option uh, traffic policy and traffic data add policy and create new one is name redirect uh, DNS and sequence type I would like to join custom and sequence rule in mat condition I choice DNS application list and DNS and I will choose the one application include YouTube this one or this one Okay, I will choose App Scavenger. This is a short click. Okay, and DNS, I will choose the DNS request. Action, accept, and direct, uh, redirect DNS and define the IP address of DNS, DR, uh, DNS server 10.10.105.10 and say mat and action. About default action, I will choose the accept to allow the another DNS request and say match and action, say data policy. Uh, then I need go back to uh, global central policy because I have a uh, existing policy, so I don't need create a new global central policy. Just edit and negative to uh, traffic rule and traffic data at policy and inbox existing I will join redirect DNS I create reverse and inbox and then uh, save policy chain and then activate policy to vSmart oh, sorry I need go to policy application to define the location where I want to apply the policy traffic data and redirect DNS create new and direction from service uh, size is e, uh, 101 and uh, VPN list VPN 10 because user belong to VPN 10 and add and now set policy chance and activate to uh, this mark and activate I will check the uh, before uh, after the timeline boot to set full. Open lock and wait a second. Okay, boot uh, with smart policy done. Now let me go to the side one hundred. 
and uh, CA1000V and check the command line from Vsmart admin admin so SD1 policy from Vsmart and you see this is the application list I choice include YouTube and uh, the data policy direction from civic VPN 10 and DNS request and redirect DNS IP of DRDNS server okay now uh, let me go to the user 111 and then pin uh, youtube.com domain again and clear the IP check in the to DNS server Uh, my expectation user 111 bin youtube.com and dns request for this domain will be forwarded to dr dns server and dc dns server will not receive any uh, dns request for this uh, youtube domain let me pin okay you see dr dns uh, server receive dns request from uh IB CA thousand V and send to DRDNS server at about IP of the YouTube domain and because DRDNS server don't know about the IP of youtube.com so it's at the DNS public and then uh DNS public result and send IP back to the DRDNS and after that the DRDNet send the IP to the CA1000V router ok and DC DNet server did not receive any uh, DNet request for the youtube.com domain ok uh, ok let me ping uh, Another domain not belong the application list I define. Assemble bin ubc.com. My expectation uh, DNS request will send to uh, DC DNS server and uh, DR DNS server will not receive any DNS request because this domain not belong the application list I define in policy. Let me bing. Okay, DC DNS received the DNS uh, request from user 111 directly. Okay, this is the uh, DNS request and the ser DNS server at the uh, Google DNS and then receive the answer from Google and answer the IP to uh, user directly. You see, IP is 0 0.81 0.81 different is you see destination in when I been youtube.com destination is the uh, suok e the IB of um, router 8000v and in sky I been the domain not belong to the application list the suok IB is the user IB because in the case um, relax uh, DNS uh, future apply to the router router will uh, begin a DNS proxy for user so uh, use uh, in the case you bin the domain belong to application list uh, you just see the IP of router not IP uh, of user okay I think uh, until now my configuration is working fine so I should, uh, I should stop video here. Uh, thank you for watching. And I always hope get your like and your subscribe, friend. Bye bye and see you in next video.